Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm going to show you how to make this miniature bedding for your dollhouse beds. It is shapeable and moldable, and if you like this video, don't forget to comment, leave a thumbs up, or subscribe. I'm using this fabric that I got from the quilting section at either Walmart or Michaels. I have white, this gray and yellow zigzag, and then this gray um, baggy thing that I actually had hanging around the house. I always keep um, excess fabric from anything for future miniature projects. In addition, I'm using a sheet of felt, and this will act as the batting on the inside of the bed. So I'm going to go in ahead and cut this to size now. I am making this bed to fit a, um, a dollhouse equivalent of a queen size. So it's about 9 by 10 inches. So I measured out the felt to fit 9 by 10 inches, and the fabric about a quarter of an inch larger than that on either side. Additionally, I'm cutting a sheet of foil, and I'm going to bend this around the felt for right now to show you how it works, but go on ahead and glue it in place. In order to keep from sewing this, I'm actually using heat and bond. It's basically just a strip of glue that you iron in place. And I'm going to go on ahead and iron this on three sides of the fabric. I'm going to iron this on the right side of the fabric, the side where the pattern is. And then iron the other piece on top of it. Then you flip the bag inside out and you have a nice little pouch. Iron it to keep that little seam crisp. And then I put a little bit more of the heat and bond on the very top of the piece of fabric at the top, at the very top of the opening. Insert your foil and your felt. And notice that I put the felt that was white on the white side of the fabric. And then fold over both sections of the fabric and close the pouch by ironing it. I'm also going to use this little piece of light gray fabric that I have. And I decided to make that into pillowcases and then the darker gray into throw pillows. There, that gives you an idea. So in order to measure out how much I needed for the pillows, I basically just flipped the pre-made pillow that I had from one side to the other, leaving a little excess at either end for um, a pillowcase hem. And then put a little heat and bond strips on either side. Fold it over to create a nice little hem at the opening of the pillow. And iron that in place. Then flip that over and add more heat and bond on either side. Iron it close, and then invert this again. If you have trouble getting into the corners, you can use a paintbrush, or the back of the paintbrush to get in there. And don't forget too to make some throw pillows. I used a, pimper, a paper template for this just to give me an idea of the size and then I made this the same way as I did the comforter except this time I'm going to go on ahead and cut off the edges here especially in the corners. This is such a small piece of, um, of, a, of fabric that I really don't want to lose anything on the inside to 
excess fabric. And then half a cotton ball was all I needed for the stuffing inside. And then I closed it up with glue. Now let's go on ahead and start making this bed up. Let's put some pillowcases on the pillows first. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. And then here is the bed I made a couple of um, weeks ago, I guess. And notice how you can just kind of mold that fabric right around it with the addition of the foil on the inside. That way you can shape the edges of the bed and you don't have to worry about the sides of the covers poking up too much. You can also rumple it up to give it a slept in look. Or just fold it down to make it look clean and pressed. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!